In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a map animation using free and open source softwares. This workflow is based on three programs, making the process fun and engaging. Let's get started. To create this animation, we'll use three different tools. QGIS. This highly versatile program will help us obtain maps, satellite images, and SVG files for animation. Then we will use Inkscape, a popular free vector editing program, where we will prepare our SVG files. And then we will bring everything together and animate in Friction 2D. This is a free and open source program and this program is quite powerful if you don't know Friction 2D I have tutorial on this software so you can check them Visit the QGIS website Download the latest version and install it After opening QGIS Navigate to this coordinate tab and type world to display the world in a flat SVG view. Now to see our to get our satellite maps we need to install a plugin. So to install plugins we need to go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and then search quick maps. And then install it. After that, navigate to web, quick map services, go to settings, select more services, and then click on more contributed pack. Now you can choose any of these satellite maps providers. I'm going to choose ESRI satellite map. So once the map is displayed, you can see there are two layers on the left side. Now uncheck the satellite map layer. Now select this select feature tool and then select the countries that you want to highlight on your animation. So I'm going to select these countries. Hold shift to select multiple countries. And after that, right click the layer go to export save selected feature as name your file and save it after that you can delete the world map layer now zoom to your layer using this tool and then and avoid moving after zooming onto your map after that go to print layout click on the canvas and then remove the background and you can choose any resolution that you like now make sure that only one layer is visible now on the print layout select the add map tool and then drag across the canvas uncheck the background and you can export the SVG file now remember to uh, enable the export map layer as SVG group option for the satellite image make the satellite layer visible and then go to the print layout and use this refresh button now I'll recommend you guys to use a resolution double of your project to prevent blurriness during during zoom animations I'm working with full HD project I'm going to export this map at 2k resolution after downloading these files we're going to open the SVG file in Inkscape you might think that everything is okay but if you just import the SVG file after downloading in Friction it won't work either way it will not show in Friction or the size will be different
because the resolution of this file document is not the same as we want so create a new document with the desired canvas size I'm going to select full HD copy the necessary layers from the original SVG select the layers right click copy and then go to the new document and paste it now you'll notice that the alignment of that SVG file is changed it's not the same as we want SVG file and the map is perfectly aligned with each other so to do that we're going to create a rectangle on the main SVG file I'm going to remove the stroke and then put it behind the map layer now I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to copy now after you have pasted the layers we need to go to the file document properties and then change the scale resolution to 1 and make sure the resolution is same as your project size after all this save your SVG file and then we are going to import them in friction 2d to animate you will notice that the files are now perfectly aligned and ready for animation let's animate this now for the animation at first I deleted all the unnecessary layers and then I applied a parent effect on SVG layer so that it follows the map layer and I did some scale animation uh, I mean some zoom in animation and as you can see I did some zoom animation and it's zooming in different places so the way I do it was at first I changed the people to the place I want to zoom in and then after the scale in and out was done I animated the people doing another place and then I did the scale animation again so that was the trick to do this and after that I, I did some opacity animation so I made some opacity animation from going 0 to around 50 or 60 percent so you can do this too and yeah that's all it of course this is not the only thing we can do while animating this map animation because you can add anything literally you can add text any object and you can also animate the SVG file stroke to highlight the countries the limit is endless it's up to you so yeah now you know how to make this animation I hope it's gonna be useful from now uh, it may sound easy but actually it took more than 20 minutes to create this 10 seconds animation anyway so that was for this video thank you for watching and i hope you learned a lot from this video and it's gonna be useful on your projects so subscribe to this channel if this was helpful and give this video a thumbs up bye bye